I feel when you make a recording, it's imperative to tell a story, paint a picture, take people on a journey, and have the music have a connection between the songs as opposed to just randomly taking tunes that you like and putting them together. The concept on this recording is called A Warm Embrace, which for me signifies love and romance, giving, generosity, sharing. So that was the concept. And normally once you have the concept and you have the songs, then you come up with the personnel that you feel will, will best help you bring this concept to fruition. So that's why I chose the musicians that I chose. All of them, we have a history of playing together and working together. James Wyman and I go way back. He's on piano. Essiet Essiet is on my last uh, two or three recordings on bass. Uh, Roland Guerrero is also on my last recording, Latin Bird. He's playing with me on this one on percussion. Then I have Ron Jackson on guitar. Now, Ron Jackson and I go back to my days when I lived in Paris. So Ron is playing with me on guitar. I also was able to get a great guitarist who lives right here in Jersey City, Russell Malone. I'm really a a astounded and so appreciative that he was available. Another great musician that lives near me in Jersey City is Winnard Harper, a great drummer. We played together on different gigs, different kind of formulas, some with the Spirit of Life Ensemble. We actually recorded with them. And then we did some things through Jazzmobile, but I was really happy that he was available to play with me on A Warm Embrace. And last but not least, I was able to have a, a, a guest vocalist who happens to be the granddaughter of Nat Adderley. And her name is Alana Adderley. And she's singing uh, on a song called When Sunny Gets Blue. When sunny gets blue, her eyes get gray and cold. Once Loved. Last fall, I started uh, working on this arrangement, and it kind of blossomed like a flower. It started off as a song. I, I thought I would record it in just a quartet, piano, bass, drums, or maybe guitar, bass, drums. And then I started hearing these other colors, and I started expanding the arrangement. And I thought, started thinking, wow, it'd be great to maybe do something with strings. When I think back to the beautiful things that Charlie Parker did and uh, Clifford Brown, Sonny Stitt, they all did recordings with strings. Uh, I was really inspired. So I said, let me see if I can work on this arrangement and expand it for a string ensemble. So I wrote it for bass, two cello, viola, and two violin. And that's how it branched out, and I wound up using uh, the great uh, cellist, Akua Dixon, who has a quartet called Quartet Indigo. Akua played both the cello parts, and then she has, uh, in her group, we had viola, uh, two violins, and then I added a bass player named Paul Bowtree, who played bass. So that's how that song came about, and I'm really uh, indebted to Akua for having such great players in her group to play with me on this recording.